Last August, Venice High School football player Nathan Santa Cruz nearly died on the football field after suffering a traumatic head injury. Earlier this week, we told you the story of how fast-acting athletic trainers saved his life. And that was just the start of Nathan's incredible comeback. Our Chris Harry now has more in this week's edition of Hometown Hero. I was in surgery for a good five to six hours. And then I was obviously uh, in a coma. And after that, I finally woke up, I want to say, like two days later. When Nathan woke up, what are you feeling as a mother? Joy, absolute joy. Uh, you know, they had told us at one point it was a zero to three percent chance that he could survive. They let us know if he survived, they did not know what condition he would be in. Once we had our conversation of what really happened, um, it was like nothing ever happened. He was asking for chicken sandwiches and to go to school. They took my skull out and that's when like it really hit that like, I really can't do what I used to do in my everyday life. And it was just like, dang, uh, what I have to do to get back. He walked around for about two, two months roughly without half a skull. Uh, so he had to wear a helmet, he had to learn how to run, walk, uh, feed himself again, use the restroom independently, but he never gave up. So during PT and OT, um, he was, what, two months in, half a skull on an exercise bike because he said he didn't want to lose his endurance because his ultimate goal was to make it back for track season and then football season. I finally went back in October and got my skull put back in. And then I started working out like six days throughout the week and maybe two a days my body would let me. And man, oh man, did you come back? You ran track in the same school year? Around December, that's when stuff really got like, really like fast paced and I would get back to my normal self. Four by 400, you were the anchor. Yeah. Right? When you set a school record, what were the emotions? Uh, emotions were surreal. Uh, me and my teammates, as soon as I crossed that finish line, uh, they came running to me because they know everything that I've been through and getting to feel like something actually went right for once, you know, after the injuries, you feel like everything's falling down on you and you don't feel how you want to feel. So that moment, it just let me know that anything is possible and that you can do anything that you want if you put your mind to it. He, he runs track, sets a school record. Yes. Goes to states. Yes. I mean, mom, come on, like how in awe were you of your son? In extreme awe, but I knew behind the scenes what his goals were and how hard he was working. I knew that he had told the doctors whatever was on paper, he was gonna defeat it. He's always been a kid who doesn't listen to what people say, he defies the odds, and I felt really good. I, I still feel really good. I'm proud to be able to say this is my son and this is part of his legacy. To see him back out on the track running last spring and, and then start to hear the groundswell building that Nathan wants to play football again and, and, and mom's gonna be okay with it. Any hesitancy as a mother Absolutely. to see him back on the football field? Every day. We had long talks. There were a lot of no's. Um, there were a lot of maybes. And so I told him, we'll switch your position. We'll try it out, and the coaches have been absolutely amazing with their safety plans for him. When I first came back, they were just taking it easy and not trying to really, like, hit me, hit me. But I'm like, man, just hit me, it's football. So then after that, we were just having fun, and everything just, just went according to plan. To come full circle and see this, this great young kid out here living his dream with his friends, is the culmination of a wonderful story, but it's a story that's still being told. So we don't know where it goes, and, and, and how will Nathan astound us next? Because this is an astounding story. Oh yeah, that smile tells you the whole story, doesn't it? Thanks, Chris. Now, how about this? Nathan scored his first touchdown since his injury on Friday night during Venice High School's 27-17 loss to Paramount. Gentlemen, what a great story this is. It really is. You know, I'm a full-time high school sports reporter, been almost doing it for a decade, and the thing I will tell you is these high school youngins, 16, 17 year old, they don't realize how resilient they truly are. And when he mentioned the word resilience, that's a key word here. Yeah, you know, just how strong he is, just this one particular individual, and there's millions across the world, but just to see him, this whole journey go full circle and he score, that's a beautiful thing to see. It certainly is.